Hi, and welcome back to the How to Make a Call Sheet series. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. In this lesson, I'll be covering how to save your call sheet as a template, as well as duplicate an existing call sheet. Every time you create a new call sheet, you'll be prompted to select a call sheet layout. Creating a call sheet template will allow you to set your settings to your specific needs, and then have that option available to select from when choosing your layout. So jumping back in from where we left off on the previous lesson, we've customized the layout to our liking, and now we can save this as a template so all of those settings are saved. So here on the design page, click the templates menu, and to save a new template, click save, and in the pop-up, give the template a name, and click create template. Now, whenever you create a new call sheet, you will have the template available for you to choose from. The second option within the templates menu is to load a template. This can come in handy if you're working on a call sheet and want to see how the information looks in a different layout. To do this, click load, and then all of your templates will be here. Select the template you would like to use and click change template. Now this is all non-destructive, so if you do have populated call sheet sections and they happen to be hidden in the new template, you can always add those back and the information will still be there. One thing to keep in mind is that saving a template only saves the layout and settings you have set. If you have information populated within the sections of the call sheet, this will not be saved within the template. To create a call sheet with the same layout and information, you'll want to duplicate the call sheet rather than create a template. To do this, from the initial call sheet page, which displays all of the call sheets created within the project, click the More button for the call sheet you would like to replicate, and then select Duplicate from the drop-down menu. In the pop-up, you can modify the name, set a new shoot date if you would like, as well as a new general call time. And then click Duplicate Call Sheet. And now you have a new call sheet with the same layout and information as the previous call sheet. In the next lesson, I'll be covering how to add recipients to your call sheet. Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified whenever new lessons are added. Again, I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.